How did Mitcham's public fire alarms work? If you didn't know that Mitcham had public fire alarms, you could look at my previous video. Where were Mitcham's public fire alarms? In the Gamewell closed circuit system, all the fire alarms were connected in series to a battery at the fire station. And my example will be number 15, which was in Church Road, on near the corner with Batsworth Road. You can see on this map FAP in the bottom right hand corner of the screen fire alarm post. The purpose of the fire alarm is to send the number 15 to the fire station so they know where to send their fire engines. Let's have a look inside. On the door there is a bell. This sounds as soon as the fire alarm is, is pulled which means that people in the area know that the fire alarm has been activated at this post. The mechanism for sending the number to the fire station is behind this panel in the in the box itself and it is a clockwork mechanism it isn't using the current from the fire station at all it is mechanical here's the signaling mechanism on its own at the bottom you can see a winding handle when this fire alarm is reset the handle is turned and turned which is to wind up the main spring it's the main spring that provides the power for sending the signal the mechanism for typing out the number is the signal wheel seen here on the left. When it turns, in this case anti-clockwise, each one of these bumps on the wheel will open the contacts, shown here as the signaling contacts. This will break the circuit. So as this wheel turns, in this case, the first bump indicates one, then there is a gap, and then there are five bumps in succession. At the control room in the fire station, this photo shows the Lambeth fire station, we can see in this cabinet on the left a spool of tape. This is the register I referred to in the diagram earlier. What is not seen in this photo is the take up reel. So let's look at a diagram that shows both together. So this is the minimum requirement for operating this system at the fire station. On the right hand side is the register, on the left hand side the take up reel, and there is a gong. The basic idea is, as soon as the circuit is broken by the operation of the fire alarm in the street, a motor starts to turn the take up reel to pull the paper tape from the register. And at the same time that circuit was broken, the register will punch a hole in the paper tape and the gong will sound. I'm going to illustrate this by showing the paper tape at the bottom of the screen. Breaking of the circuit, hole is punched, gong is sounded, and it's the next five circuit breaks which complete the message. So that's one circuit break followed by five. The number of the fire alarm box is one five. And this sequence is then repeated by the signalling wheel in the fire alarm box a further two times. So in total there are three occurrences of the sounding of the gong and punching of the tape. The gong will be loud enough for anyone in the fire station to hear it. It's also possible for a time stamping machine to be put into operation between the register and the take up reel. After the three repetitions of the fire alarm box number, the date and time is stamped by this machine. And the date and time are shown as year, month, day, a letter signifying A for AM and P for PM, then hour and minute. And in this case then, it's the 30th of March, 1933, five minutes past seven. And the reason I'm using this example is that on that day and at that time, the fire alarm was pulled at Phipps Bridge to some of the fire brigade to the explosion at the W.J. Bush factory, the lavender distillery which exploded, destroying most of Belgrave Road, killing one boy and injuring many. This is an extract from the Mitcham News of Mercury on the 28th of April 1933, the official report of that explosion. And it's interesting to note that at five minutes past seven, called by the Phipps Bridge fire alarm, Six and a half minutes past seven, the first fire engine left the building. So that's 90 seconds from hearing the call to sending out the first fire engine. 
and at 9 minutes past 7 arrived at the scene. So from receiving the fire alarm at 5 minutes past 7 in the morning, two fire engines from the Mitchell Fire Station were on scene within 4 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. If you liked it, press the like button please. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. There will be many more videos to come. Anyway, bye for now.